dying, bro. What the hell? Hey, Internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. In the last episode, things took an interesting turn in terms of, like, looking at Yamai a little bit different. We saved Kiryu, and he didn't get tortured or anything. He was actually taken care of by a doctor, so we are actually sending him back to Komorocho. And then also, on top of that, um, having Bryce kind of, like, confirm that, yeah, he is the villain of the story and Ichiban and the rest of the crew confronting him. It's not gonna be easy to get to the guy, but clearly there's so much more at play. So let's see what happens next. All right, chapter eight, and it is called Return to Sender. Oh, so I'm assuming we're gonna get Kiryu's point of view because I was waiting for this. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. <sighs> Cause I, I actually want to know what he's thinking, you know, in terms of like what's happening with everything. <laughs> Yo, can I just say Nanba's like a real one? He only spent like, what, a couple hours in Hawaii and then flew back to Japan? He didn't have to do that, but...進展があればまた連絡くれるそうです。分かった。ハワイのことは今は一番たちに任せましょう。俺たちはまずは病院です。そのために帰ってきたんだから。はあ、分かっている。ナンバさん。ハロー。あ、どうも。あの、どうでした
I guess Kazuma, because that's considered his father, he looked up to him so much that he wanted to be like him. And unfortunately, that turned into his life to being part of the Yakuza. And it's like, I can't really fault the guy for like, you made this choice. Did he make a choice? Because his options were limited. You know, he's an orphan child and he has no like other prospects to go for. So that's kind of like why I always, I always sympathize with Kiryu because um, he didn't really have a choice. And then when he does have a choice, it's often interrupted and it really sucks because you can you can tell like the, the entire series, this guy has been trying to like make his life better or give himself a purpose that doesn't involve like gangs and like killing people and like, you know, all this other stuff. He, he tries his best to do that, but people don't leave him alone. So it really sucks that he thinks that like he doesn't deserve any recovery time. He doesn't deserve anything like peaceful or like help in this case in terms of, like medical care and stuff like that. He he thinks that he doesn't deserve any of it because of his choice of joining the yakuza and stuff. And it just really sucks because like I th- I think most of us agree he doesn't deserve this. <laughs> It's it's his kids. He wants to make it right with this kid, Lani. Oh my god, we're back at Ichi's place. Dozo. Koko Ichiban no Yenandes. Kitaneta got a simulate. Suguni moto, you could yas mirabash of Sagashimaskara. Yeah, that, that's kind of true. It's better if he just stays there anyway, you know. <笑>俺も死んだこと<笑><笑> まあ、そんなことよりねえ、キリュウさん。うん。聞いた話じゃあんたもう治療しないってことだけど、そいつはどうなんですかね。医学は今この瞬間も進歩してるし、もう少し粘ったってバチは当たらねえ。よかったら
客を連れてきちまいました。あ、大丈夫。信用できるやつです。Oh my god, is the rest of the crew coming? まままた調べ出すに決まってる不毛なことは承知の上でな確かコミジュルのええー、ソンヒですよ覚えてました今はハンピンリューマンも束ねる偉人長の顔役です、yes, she is. 私はあなたと同じ日陰者だ周りには死んだことになってる人間が他にも大勢いるだから私と会ったところで大道寺の人間は気にしないだろう<笑> So he's here! So yeah, I'm gonna assume the others are gonna come because we haven't seen them yet! 病気の人間に挨拶させる手間を省いてやったんだ<笑>それに裏社会での格はあんたの方が上でこちらから挨拶に出向くのが筋ということにしておこうあ,あの。俺がチクったわけじゃないですよこいつ、キリュウさんが来てることをあっという間に嗅ぎつけててそういや、この町の情報はコミジュルに筒抜けだったな座ってもいいかとりあえず、万病の薬を持ってきたんだ<笑>一応、元看護師の身としてはおすすめできねえんだけどな伝説の竜が起こしたあらば手ぶらで来るわけにはいかないだろ。Let him have a drink, you know, he's dying. Just let him have it. <laughs> なるほど。カスガはよそ行っても相変わらずだな。He is. <laughs> 自然と周りに人が集まってくるのは、あの愛嬌のせいか愛嬌ね。<laughs> まあ言えてる。はあ。それがいつの不思議なとこだ。見てるうちに何か力になってやりてえと思わせやがる<笑>言いたかねえがそれがあいつの人徳ってやつなのかもなそれ聞いたらあいつ喜ぶだろうなんどうした俺の顔に何かついてるかなあキリュウさんあんた一番好きな食べ物ってなんだ、hey, what? なんだ急に言い方を変えようか今日人生が終わるとして死ぬ前に何を食べる最後の晩餐ってやつさおいどうしたんだよその日今のキリュウさんにそんな話<笑>別に構わねえよけどなんだろうな。死ぬ前に食いてえもんか。I don't know. There's a lot of food I would like to eat. Probably sushi, honestly. That's like my, my number one、ね、favorite thing. <laughs> 普通はそんな時間をかけずに答えられるものだ。どういうことだあんたがいかに自分のために時間を使ってこなかったかがよくわかる。うん。That's a really good point. 常に誰かのために生きてきたね。兄弟分の代わりに10年無所に入ったんだ Yeah, it's true! え、そうなんすか無実で親殺しのお命を着てたんだで、その懲役中に消えた沢村由美を追いその娘である沢村遥の成長を見届け Again, I, I get it Cause like, I feel like a lot of new players start With like Ichiban's story, which is totally fine, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just wish Kiryu was the one to tell this to everybody instead of other people telling for him, like Hana was explaining Haruka as his daughter and stuff like that. It should be Kiryu saying it. I don't know, I just feel like that, it, that would be better. <laughs> コミジュルの人間も似たところがあってね。かつて我々は人言派に忠誠を誓い、生きるも死ぬも組織に手綱を握られていた。その呪縛を逃れたはずのこの地でもなかなか自分の人生を取り戻すことはできない
結局そのまま最後を迎えた同胞を何人も目にしてきたよ彼らの上に立つ身としては寂しい限りだあんたは俺のボスじゃないああだがここは私の町で<笑>道島の竜に不完全燃焼で死なれちゃ夢見が悪い、はあ、ずいぶんな言われようだなそんなすぐ死にそうな気がするな。Dude, you were caught in a blood in the last chapter. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much of it is not in this. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing either. Why not? He's never been able to. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing either. Why not? He's never been able to. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing either. Why not? He's never been able to. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad thing either. Why not? He's わたしかなんだよ。いざ自分が言われたら何すりゃいいかわからねえってか。いや、そうだな。私はよくバッティングセンターで気晴らしをする。無心で弾を撃つんだ。大抵は半純義に生意気な口を叩かれた。ああ、
What? Wow, wait, so does that mean is it because he's sick or is it like Kiryu's imagination? That's actually interesting. I'm just gonna chalk it up to because Kiryu is sick. I don't know, because Ichiban, it's because his imagination, he's always been like that. Batting no my no jumbi undo da. Taka, Muri send the Kudasayo. Alright, let's see what uh, Sony can do. Alright, I guess you are taking the brunt. Okay. Go after this guy. I wanna do something, hang on. Ow. They always go after him like that. Anyway. Ah, here we go. Wait. Where's the other guy? You. Oh, he didn't bleed? I'm shocked. Oh, you missed, stupid! Nah. Damn, I would love it if she stepped on me like that, like for real. <laughs> Alright, now it's just this last guy. Are you weak to this? Yes, you are. There we go. Kiryu-san, <sighs> お前たちのおかげで俺もカスガの見てた光景を見れた。俺もあいつから話を聞いた時は分からなかったが、どうやら仲間と立ち向かうのが勇者。He never he, he never felt that way like with the others though. Like he has so many people like who would help him. キリュさん。なんだよ。一番とあんたにしか見えない景色ってか。I <笑> Well, I mean, you know, that's cool, cool I guess. <laughs> There's this garage nearby called Roman's Workshop. We used to get our weapons spruce up there. Feel like checking it out? The girl who runs the place is damn capable, especially considering how unsupervised this part of town is. Is that another crack at me? I'm not responsible for every block in Jicho. Besides, this workshop of yours? Forget it, you'll see. Huh? Uh. Sounds good to me. I've always been found places like that worthwhile. Okay. We do need to get new weapons. Oh, and then we can do Nanba stuff and so Sony stuff too. Yeah, okay. Oh. Hmm, is this it? Yeah, I mean, it should be. Wait, isn't she in Hawaii though? The Remnants Workshop shut down. You really didn't know? 
What? Of course I didn't know. I don't understand. Did she go out of business without us? No. She apparently work got her work kind of. Apparently, word got around her, about her so far that some headhunters from America got cushy a Silicon Valley job. If it's any consolation, I hear she's the only one who's holding her skill set. She wants to come back someday and make workshop better than ever. Wow, that's actually. Huh, good for her. Of course, she couldn't leave the garbage full and heavy duty machine sitting unattended, so she found people to rent it. Some people running it now are competent. I occasionally come here myself. However, the lion's share went to some place in Hawaii. Hmm. So I guess if we need our equipment maintained, this is where we still need to go. <laughs> Hawaii, you said? Do you think it could be? Hmm. Small world. Well, let's see what they have to offer. All right. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't remember. Uh, we'll just we'll just do beginner because I, I'm terrible at this stuff. <laughs> Yosh. Also, I just want Q to have fun. Ooh, I get it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's a home run. <laughs> all right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I missed! No! <laughs> mm. Trying to get 10 home runs? I don't think I can do that, though. Mm. Long as I'm hitting something, I'm happy about it, okay? <laughs> get 10 though so listen I usually miss all these things so yeah. <laughs> like oh, enough of us clapping for us damn our bonds are going pretty up <laughs> that's good that's good ふん。何を言ってるんだ。これだけで満足してもらっちゃ困るが。まだまだこんなものじゃ済まさんぞ。ああ。それに。ああ、<笑> いいっすね。何食いたいですか。腹が膨れたら<笑> <laughs> He's so confident in the karaoke, I love that. <laughs> yeah, it's like the the the残された家族とか友人へのメッセージとか、後々面倒になる遺産周りのことを書いておいたり。それは遺書と同値があるんだ。同じに聞こえるぞ。遺書と違って、エンディングノートには法的な効力がないんです。だから、本当に個人的なメ
自分がいなくなった後のことじゃなくて残りの時間をどう使うかを考えるのにエンディングノートはおあつらい向きなんです。It makes you focus on yourself. つつ That's exactly what he means. 実はやってみたかったこととかをエンディングノートにバンバン書き出すんですよ。そんでそれを片っ端からどんどんやってみる。なるほど。心残りのチェックリストみたいなものとして活用するわけか。そういうこと。キリュウさん、ソンヒも言ってましたけど。あんたもうちょい自分のために時間を使った方がいい。残された時間がわずかだってんならなおさらだ。Yeah, it's better to do it than just sitting around waiting. あんたがようようにせんねんする気がないって言うなら、それはキリュウさんの意思だ。俺はそれを尊重します。でも、そこまでして果たしたい何かがあるなら、それに集中できる環境づくりも必要でしょ。なんだ。バス戦で汗流しただけでも。Dude, he's so sweet. Nava's like the best. You are the one who is 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 the best. 確かにいいかもなエンディングノートか一つやってみるかえ<笑>言い出しっぺはお前なんだからいろいろ面倒見てくれよええー、それはもう、えー、じゃあ早速始めましょうや Kiryu's friendship will deepen as he spends time with his buddies. Whether that be in battle, chatting around town, or through casual competition in fun mini g a m e So, don't miss out any opportunities to grow those bonds. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's actually writing everything down. It's good. What does it say? I want to know. I want to know. いいですね。結構あるじゃないですか。えー、っと、カラオケで熱唱。<笑>いいですね、いいですね。えー、うまい酒を好きなだけ。うん、あんまりおすすめしないですよ。Let him do that one! Let him do that one! 寿司銀で卵を腹いっぱい。<笑>卵好きだったんですか。このなりで卵ばっか食うのもな。いい店だから。かっこつけちまったのを思い出した。<笑>いいですよ、キリュウさん。まさにそういうこと。まあ、思い返してみればこうだったとか、よくよく考えたらこうしたかったとか。そういうのをバンバン思い起こしてやっていきましょう。えー、どれどれ、他には、若者に流行りのスイーツってやつを食べてみたい。<笑> He sounds like such a freaking dad. <笑>ありったけかけって言ったのはお前らだろう。<笑>あ、すみません。いや、あまりに予想外のが続いたもんで。<笑>いや、すまない。笑いものにするつもりはもうとない。むしろ、少しときめいてしまった。なんだそれ。でも、マジでいい感じですよ。いや、これはやりがいがあるし。もうちょいみんなでワイワイやりたいもんだな。いやいやいやいや。あなら、欠かせないやつが一人いるな。キリュウさん、これからキャバクラどうすか。サイコロ。その辺書いてなかったっすけど、あんまお好きじゃ。<笑>バカ言え。これから書くところだったんだ。じゃあ決まりだ。もうその日、お前もいいだろ。<笑>女だっていい女は好きなんだ。もちろん付き合おう。よっしゃ。終わりましょう。<笑> What does that mean? <laughs> All right, bucket list has been added to Kiryu's main menu. Kiryu's awakening can be checked there. Wait, what does that mean? Huh? Blaze of Glory. Awaken Kiryu's soul, tech, and body by checking off the items on his bucket list. As he grants more of his former self, the Dragon of Dojima's fighting style, as well as his resistance to st status elements and element types, will become stronger. Ooh! Really? Addressing Kiryu's unfinished business while there is still time helps restore his will to fight. Check these tasks out by reviewing unfinished business in the book. Okay, okay. So a lot of these seem like 
it's side stuff. And I did say I was doing side stuff on camera or live streams, whatever. But for the sake of QDU's story, I'm going to finish it as much as I can as possible for this Let's Play because I want to see what they have for Kiryu because this is supposed to be a send off for him, right? So I'm going to do it. I have to. <laughs> Let me see the bucket list. Life links? Memory, memoirs of a dragon. Oh, damn. Everything. What's unfinished business? Oh my god, and there's like all this other stuff. Okay, so that's the stuff that we can do. Awakening. Huh. Alright. The hell's that? Hmm? What? Nostalgic sights. Can reunite memories of the past. The more Kiryu sees it happening to remember, the further his he awakens. Oh, okay. What's up? Uh, no, it's just uh, seeing the signs still gets me nostalgic is all. <sighs> oh, yeah? Well, I guess it does have that look to it, huh? The place is it, man. But let me take you to my favorite spot. Trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> all right. Wait, let me see. What What is it? Oh, we can go to Komurocho! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, a cabaret club. Among the cities I visited, each and every cabaret club is just as glamorous as the last. You can enjoy some quality drinks and spend time with a pleasant company. No wonder some folks get hooked on them. But the customer can only have a good time because of all the blood, sweat, and tears that goes on behind the scenes. Having dabbled in the management side of my things myself, I see firsthand how much effort it takes. <laughs> now I'm thinking back on it, I'm actually starting to miss that kind of work. So, yeah. I should ask Namba to join me sometime, even though he'll make me promise not to drink. So we can remember all this stuff! I'm definitely gonna have to find most of this. This might take me a while to get through, but I hope you guys don't mind. It's just- I feel like I- I-, I this may sound really weird. I just feel like I owe it to Kidu. I know he's not like a real person or anything, but like, this game has me meant so much to me for the last couple years that I've been playing it, and like, Kidu himself as a character means a lot to me too, so it's like, I feel like I need to do this for him. Otomi land, a soap land, looks close right now. Seeing one reminds me of the conversation I had with Haruka all those years ago. When she asked me what a soap land was, and I had no idea how to answer, but that cheeky little girl probably knew it would get me flustered and asked anyway. She definitely had me on the ropes there. I wonder if she'd react to Haruto asked her the same question. <laughs> Bet she'd be flustered as I was. Oh yeah, that's true. Haruka really had no like chill. She just asked whatever to him. <laughs> it's just really funny. <laughs> Kiricho Highball Tavern, home to some of the tastiest takoyaki in town. Looks like the business is still good. Every time I think of Octopus, the first thing that comes to mind is o Omimichi. The pure chance I somehow ended up helping the out the locals with spear fishing. I would have ended up in the fight fighting a shark or other huge creatures too. Sounds like something I, out of a dream, but I swear it did happen. <laughs> Probably the last time I go spearfishing, at least for a while. Oh, <laughs> That's one big drugstore. Should I stock up? There's a never-ending fight, so I always end up at the drugstore one way or another. That's true. Nothing beats stamina. Tonarin or toughness, the perfect trifecta to get you through a brawl. Whenever there's a tough battle ahead, you gotta line your pockets with these guys. But the names are so confusing because of that, I always get them mixed up. That's my only complaint, though. Whoever's in charge of marketing these things, I expect to see some improvement. <laughs> oh, sick. We can go on the segways still? Oh, that's perfect. Looks like an old fashioned arcade. Guess it's what the kids would call retro. I used to frequent arcades like this back in the day. I had lots of fun playing games there. You did. The folks behind these games must be incredibly creative and unique. <laughs> Because it's Sega. <laughs> come on, come to think of it, most of what I play were from a company called Sega. They always seem to be innovated in every game they put out, and with that lineup like theirs, I'm sure they'll be around for years to come. I hope that means there's more Yakuza games. <laughs> Makes me wonder what other games are out there. I'll be waiting to play. So, yeah, if I could let live forever, I'd play them all. Confirm, Kiryu is a gamer. <laughs> the castle keep was it? <laughs> the home is here, sure, daring. I remember there was something like this on the dreams I had. <laughs> oh, that's actually so cool! They mentioned Ishin! Where I was none other than Sakamoto Ryoma. I listened to Shinsugumi and thought I'd 
Though I doubt the real Sakamoto real, but everyone, well, little did you know. <laughs> and towards the end, I was at the top of the castle key, battling an evil mastermind. But for a dream, that sunrise was still damn beautiful. Strange how vivid everything was. Perhaps this was a memory from a past life? <laughs> yeah, right, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> That's so cool, I like that they mentioned that. That's cool. There are sure a lot of bridges in Jicho. <laughs> about that though you can throw people off it whenever i see a bridge i can't help but think of the countless times i've thrown somebody off one maybe i ought to try making better memories while i'm still alive <laughs> that kid who calling himself out for doing that <laughs> i won't lie this river is filthy like the river in sotenbori many maybe things have changed by now but it was also pretty dirty back then Sojinbori, the entertainment capital of the west of Kamurocho's biggest rival. The ritzy ambience is really similar to Kamurocho, but still has its own allure. It also happens to be the background between the Jingwa Mafia and Omi Alliance. There I met Ryuji Goda and Kaoru for the first time. Guess you could say it was a pretty special place to me. Plus, the food's great. <laughs> Nothing beats a authentic Osaka-style takoyaki. It's a great city, yeah, but it won't ever stop Kamurocho. Oh, he, he mentioned Ryuji too! Oh my god, the movie! Huh? I never thought there'd be a vintage movie theater here. Wait, I recognize this. This was, um... <laughs> yeah, our Winter Sonata! Sorry, Il Yujin. This guy! That's the Korean movie star I met in Kamurocho. It's been ages! We did a sort of thing, things to remember. Running from his fans, show, showing him movies. I heard he left the limelight for some time now, but it looks like he made a comeback. Good for you. Here's to hoping you stay successful. I remember that guy. Oh my god. The Sasaki building and inside the Sasaki in, in, uh, clinic. The name Sasaki sticks for me for some reason. <laughs> Maybe because it's a weird dream that I can't forget. <laughs> I don't know why, but in this dream, I was Miyamoto Mizasashi. Wait, which game is this? And I lived under the alias and working in Merchants of Red Light District of that time, even though Miyam Miyamo I was Miyamoto. I still had a duel against the Sasako Kiro and won. At least the dream was somewhat historically accurate in that regard. Uh, just when I thought it was over, I just had to find out these guys in the demon mask right after. Dreams are sure weird. But it all felt so vivid. The emotion still lingers in my mind. Perhaps it's a memory from a past <laughs> life? Uh, yeah, right. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> so different from Kamarocho here. Yokohama is a bustling town and a right of its own, but it doesn't have the same glitz and glamour as Kamarocho. Come to think of it, the snake flower triad also had a hideout here. I lived here with Haruka before we moved to Okinawa too. Even though it's been a while since I visited, this place was amazing as I remember. But I still can't measure up against. Uh, it can, but it still can't measure up against Kamarocho. That's right, they did live here. So this is area's Korea town now. Reminds me of the history with the Jingoa Mafia. Our feud dates back as far as Kazuma's son's time. We've had a number of conflicts in the past with them. It was killed or be killed, but... <laughs> now, here I am, fighting alongside the remnant of the Jingoa Mafia, Junki Han. Huh, you told me this a year ago, I never believe it. Guess you never know what life has in store. The future's always unpredictable. It's true! The Gumi Jill headquarters is just up ahead. My history of the Gomijo goes way back to my connection with their parent organization, the Jingoa Mafia. And now Sonhi is not only leading them, but after Zo created power to her, she's also in charge of the Lungmang. It might be exaggeration to say that Sonhi has an entire Yokohama underground in her thumb. She must be under a lot of pressure. Still, what an impressive feat. Even though it's only been a short while since we met. I can tell she was born to be a leader. She has the potential for it. Seeing the next generation carry us into the future fills me with hope. I sound like a geezer now. <laughs> this district is one of Injicho's many symbols, a hub of different bars and pubs. That reminds me, I used to hit up one of the bars in Omimichi pretty often. Everyone is a pretty regular, so it's hard to get them to know them. Turns out they were all good people, though. Would raise a guys to chat over good drinks. I'd always be thankful to that bar providing me a comfortable space. Hustling boutique. Looks some like kind of secondhand clothing shop. They got some pretty fashionable clothes in stock too. 
Reminds me of when I picked up Mitsu's clothes in the past. <laughs> Thinking back on it now, he looked real sharp. Guess I do have a sense for fashion after all. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Nishiki has always said this man has no sense of fashion. <laughs> so, yeah, but... <laughs> There's such a thing as reincarnation. Maybe I'll work in the fashion industry in my next life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine Kiryu doing that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, clothing store. Ever since I joined the faction, I've been here to dress code for every single day. I haven't really thought about choosing my own clothes, but the usual outfit I used to wear, the gray suit with the red shirt with the popped up collar, I guess you could say it's more my style. Yes, now I'm does. starting to realize I can't wear whatever I want anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty iconic for Kiryu to wear his suit, you know. Lots of cars in Nijicho, guess that makes sense, considering there's a highway nearby. Oh god, I can't say I have the greatest memory of my way, so when I was trying to rescue Haruka, I was ambushed by the snake flower triad, which led me into a car chase. Once I was uh, attacked by the Jingo and Mafia, I had to fight them up with a cargo bed. Yeah, I've got nothing but dangerous experiences on highways. <laughs> yeah, and he's like murdered how many people, right? <laughs> I had no idea there was a gambling den here. Oddly enough, gambling dens always remind me of Haruka. Oh yeah, she had a Gamma Instinct one that's strangely good at that. Her predictions were always right in the money. <laughs> After listening to her, I ended up winning too much and a huge fight broke out. Those memories never feel to make me smile nowadays. I feel a bit sorry for those gamblers though. <laughs> a golf course. They're kind of like batting cages, both great places to relieve stress. I think I went to the Soten Bodhi before. Right, with Kaoru. Somehow she managed to damage the golf club so badly it bent, an employee even yelled at us for it. Back then I thought she was someone who was perfect in every way. Huh. But she was actually pretty clumsy. Even though we went our separate ways, I still cherish the time we spent together. Oh, that's nice! He still hasn't forgotten about her. He never forgot about Yumi either, which is really sweet too. Kiryu is really a sentimental guy, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> this year at high school? The building's pretty nice. Speaking of high school, I wasn't the greatest student to say the least. I cut class and hang out with Nishiki instead. It's pretty embarrassing to think back on it. I was a stereotypical delinquent. Maybe if I had taken my education more seriously, my life would have turned out differently. I mean, sure it can, but like I said, since Kiryu doesn't have like a proper family setting and like his family to him is Nishiki, Yumi, and then also Kazuma, so he would follow them of course. No, I doubt it. I always wanted to be like Pops. Exactly, like Kazuma's son. That'll never change. In the end, despite all the, in the detours I ended up taking up, this path was what I meant to... This is the path I was meant to walk on. This is my life. Yep, at least he's accepted it. Popo and M Street are going to convenience stores. At least they are to me. <laughs> They've gotten bento, odin, Chinese buns, even their own specialties you can't get anywhere else. Hard to say which one I like more. Some customers get up all in arms for their favorite convenience store, though. Guess I'm more moderate. I like the bento at Popo, but nothing beats the hot food that they got at the M store. Come to think of it, I haven't passed by here in a while. Maybe I should try something for both stores. It's a little comparison test. For old time's sake. <laughs> no matter how old you get, shopping, eating delicious food will always be good fun. As long as you're not destroying the store because they will kick you out. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so I got in his soul level to four. Kido's perfect guard has now an enhanced in brawler style. Successfully pouring perfect guard against the enemy melee attack will trigger a counter. However, against attacks which hit multiple times. You must perform guard and on final hit, timing is crucial. Which, you know, I try. Oh, look, a taxi. I can't. I gotta resist, but the urge to check out the car's interior for cleanliness. <laughs> And its exterior for body damage is too strong. Because work habits are hard to break, even though it's been ages since I drove a taxi myself. I live in uh, Fukuoka for some time under the alias, working as a taxi driver. I'd rather not think back on those bleak, dreary days. I don't regret any of my past decisions, though. But what I'll always remember is the warmth that the people um, Nagasu Taxi showed me. They saved me more times than I can count. The, that reminds me. The food sells and cheap. Nakajima took me to had really good food. If you plan on a cross country trip, don't skip out on Nagasugai. So, yeah. It's a great town, but <laughs> still no match for Kamurocho. <laughs> He's like, I gotta resist. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't put my finger on what exactly it is, but this building doesn't seem very Japanese to me. Looks more like something I'd see overseas instead. 
Yumi would probably like this sort of thing, though. Oh, One time she said the best place to hold a wedding ceremony would be in Hawaii. If only I could have made that happen for her. Hanawa must have pulled some strings to send me on a mission to Hawaii out of concern. But I should be grateful. Thanks to him, I finally got some closure I needed. By bringing the, her ring with me, I felt like I was taking her to a place she'd always dream of myself. I wonder if she'd be shocked by how foolish I've been. Or maybe she'd be pleased? At least, I would hope so. Oh my god, right in the feels, honestly. Mom, can I please go play soccer? Uh-uh. You broke your promise to me the other day. Please, I promise it'll be better this time. <laughs> Heartwarming sight, that is. Oh, I wonder if Haruto will grow up like that. Haruto, Haruka and Yuta's child. And something like a grandson to me. <laughs> I guess that makes me a grandpa. You are! <laughs> Never thought I'd be able to see the faces of my grandchildren before I die. If only the lady luck was on my side. Huh, now I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. I'd do anything to see how Haruto, Haruto's future unfolds. Oh, we humans sure are greedy. That's not greedy! He should be able to see him! You know? Because, like, how old is Haruto now? He's a... He was, like... How old was he in six? I actually can't remember, but like he's he's already like, you know, his own person. No better feeling than hitting a home run. <laughs> oh yeah, he was on a team. I used to play ball at the sandlock back in Omichi. I even put a whole team together for the folks at the bar. Hitting a homer in a big open field was even more exhilarating than at the batting cages. It'd be nice if I've got to play baseball with everyone again. Oh memories. Didn't think there would be a cafe here. I like to order a shortcake to go with some strong black coffee. That would make a perfect pair. I don't like strong black coffee. I like flavored coffee. It's got to taste like something else, you know? I don't know how people drink it straight. <laughs> the sweetness of the cake balances out with the bitterness of the coffee. Two complementary flavor profiles. But if we're talking about the best combination ever, I'd say it have to be date san and milk. <laughs> this game's killing me. It's bringing out all the jokes because it's true. Every game, Date came in clutch with the helicopters. Every time I got involved in a crazy incident, Date san almost always shows up to bail me out in a helicopter. <laughs> maybe that's why whenever I see Date in a chopper, I double down and stand my ground. <laughs> or maybe I've just been conditioned to think that way. <laughs> It's true though, he had a helicopter every situation. It was so funny. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I, I love that the, the this game is just calling out all the like the funny stuff that has happened in the series so far. <laughs> the ocean. Oh sometimes, just sometimes, the ocean reminds me of Saijima. Wonder why? Maybe because he's a man that as big as the ocean and his heart is just as fast. Also, he kinda I guess, and he also you know, the way he escaped I don't know, the way he escaped prison, he swam, remember? <laughs> Or maybe it's because he washed it. Yeah, I washed it from the beach in front of my house. I've never met anyone like him before. Guys like him usually end up dead. Well, he's ridiculously tough, physically and mentally. But he never flaunts his strength. In fact, he's the quietest, most considerate person I've ever met. True, as big as like Saijima is, he kind of keeps to himself. Which I think says a lot about his like character and also like characters that are generally like really big dudes. I feel like they're the sweetest like ones out of the bunch, right? <laughs> He really is one hell of a man. Oh, whenever I think of him, I start uh, thinking I still got a long ways to go. Oh, Sunlight Castle. I believe this is a retirement home. Castles, huh? I've seen a castle split into two vertically, but who the hell would believe me if I told him that? Oh yeah, I remember that! But it really it did happen, I swear it did! On top of that, another castle popped out and cracked from the first one. Maybe I should visit the castle again sometime just to prove I didn't dream the whole thing up. <laughs> yeah, I remember that happened. That was in the second game, right? Oh my god. Now this is quite the stage. I bet they use this to put on shows. With this much space, I wonder how much it's possible to build a ring here. I just imagine the ring is still getting my blood pumping after all. I am the one <laughs> only dragon mask. Of course, I only started wrestling for Tai Chi's sake. But after a strange turn of events, I actually fought in the ring while I was in Fukuoka against a real wrestler. That was a long time ago. At this rate, dragon mask will fade into obscurity. If that's the case, I'd like to wrestle one last time. It'll be a retirement match of the decade. Oh, if possible, i like to be against Tai Chi now that he's all grown up. Give him something to remember me by. Aww, that's sweet! The Funimira Khan. So this is a maritime museum? It's pretty neat. 
Boats always make me think of Onomichi, the shipbuilding town of faces a Seto inland sea. Quiet, calming place surrounded by sea and mountains. I can see how Haruka would end up there. It's also the place where I officially declared dead. Though I'll always think of Kamurocho as my hometown, to think my life would be would come to an end somewhere else. But I guess it's not all bad. It's a good place to rest in peace. Yeah, I guess so. Anytime I look at the sea, I, I memories of Okinawa keep floating back into my mind. <laughs> Playing with the kids, catching fish for dinner, a life of peace and content. If only I could turn back time, even just for a little. So huh. And here I am now, so I'm sounding like an old man. My age is catching up to me. Oh. Okay, so there's one more that I could get over here, but it's in front of like a mini boss, which is like 10 levels higher than me. So I'm going to have to go back for it later. All right, let's go talk to our favorite girl because I know we're going to Psycho. We're, we, she's the only one who has a cabaret. <laughs> ご指名はございますか。さっちゃん。ああ、いや。サエコさん頼むわ。かしこまりました。失礼します。3番テーブルご指名です。ごめんなさい。失礼します。Oh my god, and it's like they she hasn't talked the number or Adachi, right? Kiryu <笑>いや、<笑> こうなれ、なんとしても全部達成してほしくってさ。俺と孫秀がっつりサポートするつもりよ。なるほど。なんか早期くと燃えてくるね。そこでなんだかな、さっちゃん。俺と孫秀だけじゃちょっとだけ心
全く同感だ。なんちゃん、一番元気でやってる？<笑>ハワイでトラブルに巻き込まれてるよ。それもあいつらしいだろう。ええ、キリュウさん。はあ、俺が向こうで会った時は、いや、yeah, だだだれしろだれしろ。なんていうか。I almost got hit by a car, oh my god. Girl, we know you are worried. We know. I just realized where we're going. We're going to Survive Bar. Is this the reunion I've been waiting for? Hang on. This is Kiryu. I'm going to go to the house. サバイバーっつってねマスターはちょっとファーモルですけど根はいい人なんで大丈夫偉人帳で歌聞かせたいならここしかないわよねどうもマスター新しい客連れてきたぜんこちらは鈴木太一さん<笑>えもしかしてお知り合い Look at cry. <笑>い,いえどなたかと人違いされているんでしょう。Oh, they definitely recognize each other. はじめまして。サバイバーへようこそ、鈴木さん。あのー、昔、よく似た人がいたんだ。だが、マスターの言う通り、人違いだった。Kitty looks so sad. His eyes. 失礼しましたいえ、どうかお気になさらず。こちらこそ、よくある顔なもんですから。So you have a whole ass scar on your face. Oh, he's... oh my god, I'm just looking at his face. あの二人、知り合いかそう。Because the last time he saw Kashi w a k i he was like dying in his arms. 私たちは歌いに来たんだ。さあ、始めようじゃないか。ええ、どうぞ。<笑> Why am I crying, bro? What the hell? どうぞ、心置きなく楽しんでください。<笑>ありがとう、マスター。ダメ、I wanted them to talk! I really did! Of course, this man is singing Bakamita. <laughs> What the hell? I need to go to a dog. Oh, God. I'm going to go to a dog. 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 I'm going to だね<笑>私も偉人帳の人間としては桐生さんに恩返ししたいし何よりもしかすると助かるかもしれないのに Same, even if there's like a small chance of it I would like for him to survive this 俺一人じゃさすがに身が重かったからよ何なのよこの涙キリュウさんお上手でしたうう最高でしたよ噂は本当だったな道島の竜はなかなか歌を聞かせるちゃんと聞いてなかったように見えたぞ<笑>まさか聞いてましたよまあ別にそんなんでへそ曲げるわけじゃねえがよだから聞いてましたって誰だ次の曲だぞどういうわけだろうなん次の曲も俺だいや絶対終わったことでしょ<笑>レールカーズレーター,レー,ター<笑>なら盛り上げていくか Wait, wasn't Kashi w a g i the one playing the piano in the background? Yeah, Kashi 
you walk in this originally the one playing the piano? So much better naive breaking the world! <laughs> ジャッジメン。ちょっと失礼するよ。うん。早く戻ってこいよ。いや、キリュウさん、今日楽しいですね。俺はおかげでいい気分ですよ。本当。<笑> Who's calling? わたしだ。どうした。重要な連絡だろうな。私はしばらくお楽しみだと言ったはずだ。わかってるよ。でも仕方ないだろう。ずっと憧れのキリュさんと一緒なんだから。よ、そんき。なんだよ。また見けにしわよっちゃってるぞ。そうか。そんなことはないだろう。仕事の話じゃねえのか。あれれ。キリュさんと遊ぶより大事な仕事なんてある別に大した要件じゃなかった。ただ
沢城と話すってのそういう使い方もあるんですね清流会の本部はすぐそこだったなああだが今は沢城やほとんどの幹部たちは偉人町にいない増えた組員のためにここ1週間ほどで別の支部を立ち上げたんだもし桐生さんに行く気があるなら明日私が案内しようそうか分かったよ Yeah, something's go going on here more than just, you know, that. A lot happened tonight. I should head back to Kasuka's apartment. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you guys don't mind me going through Kiryu's all of his memories and stuff like that. I just think it's really important to the story, and I think it will help not only like us in battle, but unlock stuff for his storyline. And I really, really want to do that for the channel just because, you know. How much we all love Kiryu and how important he is to the actual story. So, I'm gonna do my best to get through everything before we move on to the next chapter because I don't want to miss it. So, I'm gonna take some time to level up Kiryu because obviously, some memories are locked behind mini bosses that are way too high for me to fight. So, I'm gonna have to level up the party and go on from there. But yeah, at least now we have some. Some goal for Kiryu, you know, he has the bucket list, but also to find out what the hell is going on with the Siryu clan, Joe in particular, which doesn't surprise me that he's being weird. And then、uh, the e b i n a t o o doing something aside from just dissolving the Yakuza clans. There was obviously more to that. I think we kind of saw that coming in when we first started this game. I am a little bit sad that, you know, Kashiwagi couldn't like have a conversation, couldn't have a conversation with Kiryu because. That would have been nice if they could talk, you know, by themselves. But I could see it on Kiryu's face. He wanted to, like, start crying because, yeah, the last time you saw him, he was like, he was gunned down, remember? And Kiryu was holding him while he was bleeding out. So, oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys know when I upload the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!